Hi and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to cover a small feature but something you use all the time in Waveform. This is in the Waveform 11.5 or 11.5 upgrade and I'm talking about the plugin selector, the menu system that you use when you add plugins and I'm going to show you how to get control of that, add favorites and also show you a few of the tweaks that have been made to it that make it a lot more useful. So first of all, I'm going to go over to a project that I've started. This is based on the singer-songwriter template, so all of this you could easily do on your own if you go right to that template. Now, if we go over to the mixer section or the inline mixer and right-click on any plugin here, you'll see that we can add a plugin to the left. One of the things that's been changed is that this menu has been re organized a little bit so that add plugin is right at the top of the menu. So it's already more convenient. If I click that, this is the pop-up plugin selector menu. And it looks similar to the way it did before. However, all of the things related to the built-in plugins are at the top, including a new favorites list, which is right here. And you'll see I've put some of my favorite plugins into this list and in a couple of minutes, I'll show you how that's done. You also have your recent plugins, that's been there before, and Waveform. Now the Waveform menu or submenu here has been reorganized to make it a lot easier to find what you want in here. If I look at effects, you'll see that this is now broken into your most common effects like the volume pan, compressor limiter, master mix if you happen to have that, then your time delay effects along with pitch shifters in the middle and then down at the bottom of the list all of the MIDI effects are organized together. Before this was kind of jumbled together, some of the naming wasn't consistent. The, something like the MIDI arpeggiator, the chord companion and chord player are features of the pro version and now they're, they're preceded by the word MIDI just to make this really nice and clear. We also have plug-in racks, and then the artisan collection also appears above the separator line. If you have the pro version and you have the artisan collection, you also have the option to not see that if you really don't want that on the list. I will show you how to set those options as well. So the other thing I want to point out is that this is the same menu that you would get from the plug-in object. If you drag the plug-in object in, and then go to waveform and say pick a chorus and put that in. It's exactly the same menu as if you right click the plugin selector and add plugin to left like this. Now, the way that you control this is in settings on the plugin page. So I'm going to go to settings and on the plugins page, and I'm going to explain what these things do. Now you've got all your stuff for scanning, but down here we have the plugin selector pop up menu. The vast majority of people are going to want to leave this set at pop up menu. If you put it on pop up tree, you get the same thing organized by tree. If you have a custom pop up menu, then the things you organize in your favorites list over here on the side is all that you're going to see in the lower part of that list. You can also organize by that as a tree and a tag menu. I would say that all of these are things that if you really want to tweak this in unique ways, you can. You may already know from working with waveform or traction what these do. For the most part, you're going to want to leave this set on pop-up menu. Also, there's a plugin sort where you can sort by your disk location by the categories. Those are the categories from your plugin list right here. Not something you can edit and by manufacturer. Again, most of the time, personally, I like to sort this by manufacturer in Waveform and in other DAWs. It makes the most sense to me. Now, show all plugins, you probably want to leave that turned off. In the plugin list, after you scan your plugins, you have the option to basically suppress plugins that you would don't want to see by going into this list and turning them off. Like if I didn't want to see those, I can turn them off. So if there's ones that either you don't like, you don't use, 
or you just don't want to see in here, then you can go in here and turn them off. Like these are the ones that are the audio units plugins that come with Apple. Well, I rarely use those in my projects, so I turn them off. If you do show all plugins, your plugin selector is going to show those even if you have them disabled. So if you want this column to work right, then you want this off. There's also over here, enable internal plugins. You have enable legacy plugins. This, if you turn that on, you'll see some plugins that are from old versions of Traction. And specifically, at least at the time I recorded this, you've got the old FM synth and the really old version of the sampler. If you want to see those in this list, then you would enable it here. And it says restart waveform. However, I would say most of the time, you're going to want to leave that turned off. Some people don't want to see the Artisan collection, even though there's some pretty cool plugins. If you never use them, you want to turn them off. You could turn that off right here, and then that will not appear on the list either. So I'll just leave that all turned on. And that's really all that you have related to organizing that list. However, the favorite plugin list, this was here before, it's been renamed slightly. That's over here on the right. You can drag in anything that you want to see in that favorite section, and it makes them a lot handier. And you don't have to put a lot of things. Maybe you have two or maybe you have 12 plugins that you'd like to add to this list. You don't have to organize all of your hundreds of plugins. You can just put in the ones you want. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. One of my favorite compressors of all time is Waves R Comp. So let's find that. I'll take these and just drag them into this list. I'll just put them right at the top of the list. And I also like the, the Renaissance Axe plugin. I use this on acoustic guitars. And I'll just put that in this list as well. If I wanted to further organize this and create a little section for my Waves plugins, then you can add a group like this, right click, rename the group, if I call that waves, and then I could grab these that I just added and put them in a folder like that. Now, when I go back over to my plugin selector, I'll right click on one of these, add plugins to the left, go to my favorites, and here are my waves plugins. And the artisan collection is still here, my plugin racks, and all of the other things. Now, one, one of the things, if you're looking for the traction plugins or the DAW essential plugins, you will still find those down here in the traction section because they're add-ons. They are plugins, VSTs, and audio units plugins for any DAW. So they're really like an add-on package. So they appear in the manufacturer section if you're looking for those. So anyway, I wanted to go over that, give you an idea of some of the details that have been changed related to the plugin selector that makes it a lot quicker to do the things you'd like to do when you're putting plugins into your projects. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon.